Welcome back to the video library. Today in chapter 2, we're going to be discussing CPS Air sales. Within there, we're going to go over quick sale button setup, the selling of an item, advanced button, creating and assigning email templates for receipts, and the end of day procedure, which we refer to as the cash count. But to first start, quick sale button setup. For quick sale button setup, we're going to navigate to the Club Profit software and go to Tools, Options, Sales Options, and then Quick Sale Button Setup here. Within Quick Sale Button Setup, we will find our various terminals that we can create buttons for. For CPS Error, however, we're going to need to change that from the source terminal of your computer that you're at right now, which is this computer here, to the name of your iPad. So our iPad we're using today is AACPS Test. Within here, we're now given the options to put buttons onto some spaces here. Overall, you can use as many or as little as these buttons as you want, uh, but for CPS Air, we're going to need to stay within tab one. I will say, I will say though, however, five by five fits the entire CPS Air screen without needing to scroll over or down. So we can use those parameters to build what we call pages and then under those pages can be your buttons. If you only have 20 or so buttons feel free to just use the source items here as you see. First off we'll need to search for the buttons that we want to put on here. So I'm going to search in the categories snacks. In the category of snacks we're going to see all the snacks that we have available in inventory. I'm going to then add a page for this since we have quite a few. And down below, just give it a label. So I'm just going to label it snacks. In here, we can change the background color, which is going to be the color of the button. We can change the font color, make it something different than black. We can change the font size to be something a little bit larger than the standard 10. Let's call it 12. We can change the font style. We can also put an image here. So this, if we press this, it's actually going to search the images on your computer. So if you have images of anything that you want to put on here, feel free to add them by clicking this dot right here and removing it with this red X here. After we have everything set up for how we want this uh, page to be, we can just hit save. Now this button is a page. Put buttons under this. We'll need to click on the button again so it turns gray like this and hit add sub item. And now we're under that button. In this scenario, we can just drag over anything that we want to sell under the under the page snacks. Just as simple as dragging it over and dropping it. Once you do drag and drop, however, you can no longer drag and drop again. To move these, you have two different methods. One being just using your mouse, hitting move. And then mouse again, paste. You can also add buttons under here by right clicking and delete buttons. You can also utilize the buttons down here. Once again, move and paste. After you have the buttons on here, you can click on them again and make any edits you'd like again. Maybe change the color, font, image, whatever you want. After you have some buttons moved over, we can then exit out and grab our iPad, enter our PIN, and you'll notice those buttons aren't there yet. To get them there, we need to refresh the iPad. In the top left, click on the hamburger looking button, go down to connected, the green button, press it, and then connect again. That will refresh the iPad, tap here to start, go back into sales, and we'll find our buttons. You can see in the bottom right there's an image that represents this button being a page. Under the button, we'll find all the items that we drug over a few moments ago. So if we want to sell this item, we'll step in to the next video. 